All right, Q&A. Somebody's asking here, they want to breed a merle to a black merle. What will I get? <laughs> You'll get death, death, and blind, death and blind dogs. Don't breed merles to merles. Not a good idea. Uh, the double merles. So if you put a, a merle, by the way, is a dog that should have only a single copy of merle. And it expresses. So it's like brindle. It's a single copy. So any dog that's merle should only have a single copy because dogs that have two copies likely have problems with deafness and blindness. So any time that you've got a merle dog, it's big M, little M. If you bred that to another dog, big M, little M, one quarter of the litter would be double merles. And there lies your problem. So don't do it. Um... Somebody here is talking about my AI video, said it looked really helpful. They want to know, uh, basically I think they're asking whether they could bring a dog to me and they realize I'm in Oklahoma. So the answer is, yeah, it's, that's, I mean, we do, we will do breedings for people, but I mean, you know, it doesn't make any sense unless you're, unless you're within, you know, a hundred miles of us or something, but uh, yeah, okay. Um, somebody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's another thing is just that, of course, uh, you know, we've got a, a way of shipping semen to you, like Tammy's just saying. Someone says, don't take their ears up. They need to be left alone. Now, the rest of the world doesn't agree with you at all. So I can tell you that if you've got a French Bulldog with the ears that flop down, that is not the breed standard. It's not what most people want to see. And if you have a puppy like that, you'll probably have some problems finding a new home for it. So take the ears up, folks. If they need to be taken. Yeah, if they need to be taken, right. Somebody's talking about they had three consecutive failures breeding some dogs, of which one of those dogs had been bred a couple of times successfully before, and the other two were new ones. And so she says, basically, you know, what's going on here? So you don't give us the details, but I'm going to give you the details of what I would do on the next breeding. So, um, look, look, the dog that had puppies before, we know that she's quite capable of having puppies, so we don't need to be running any tests on her. And the other two dogs with a single failure each, I wouldn't be running any blood tests on those dogs either. I would assume that probably it is a timing issue, a semen quality issue, or a technique issue. Because those are the typical things. So, what would I do? Test, get the numbers right to do your first AI. On an IDEX around a 15, on a fine care around a 17. Read two days later, and then retest the progesterone levels to make sure the progesterone has stayed high and gone up. Because some dogs, it doesn't, and there's your problem. So that's the first thing. Make sure on your second breeding that the progesterone levels are above the numbers that you want to see to start breeding. That's the first thing. And then the second thing is, is did you check the semen? Look at it under a microscope. Make sure that it's viable. You want to make sure there's enough of it and it's alive. All right. Moving on. Somebody's asking about breeding two dogs. Okay, the first dog is little D, little D, little B, little B. So that's an Isabella, A-Y-A, capital E-M, capital E-M, black mask, K-Y-K-Y, not brindle, S-N, a copy of Pied. Bred to another dog that's also an Isabella, little D, little D, little B, little B, A-Y-A, capital E-M, capital E, copy of brindle, no Pied. What would you get? She wants to know whether they get, or that person would like, thinks they're going to get three quarters Isabella? No. You'll get one quarter, excuse me, one half Isabella's. Because the first dog is going to throw Isabella every time. The second dog is only one copy of B. So 50% of the time, it doesn't, it's not an Isabella. 50% of the time, it is. Consequently, 50% of the dogs would be little D, little D, little B, little B, Isabella. And the other ones would be little D, little D, big B, little B, blues that carry chocolate. And then also, just to look on the rest of this, you're going to get KYKY KY with a KBKY dog. Half the dogs are going to be brindles. The, AYA, the AYAs of both dogs, you'll get one. Uh, or what will you get? You'll get uh, one quarter double A recessive, totally solid color. You'll get one quarter AYAY, which would be fawn if the brindle's not present. And the other half will be AYAs. Uh, what do I write down here? Someone wants to know where to get tourniquet from. We sell them at MyBreeders Supply. www.mybreedersupply.com. You can buy a tourniquet. Um, so on the previous question, somebody had said that I talk too much. Get on with it. Somebody else says you don't talk too much. We think your videos are excellent. Hey. Can't please everybody. That's right. You can't please everybody. <laughs> Look, I mean, I do have a tendency to talk too much. I do try to get to the point, though. I don't want to waste people's time. It's one thing I really irks me on YouTube videos is where... 
somebody's going to tell you about something and then you've got to listen through the whole thing for like seven, ten minutes before they ever get to the point. Now, hopefully that's not what you experience here. Uh... Okay, somebody's asking, if your dog has tan points, does that mean it doesn't have brindle? If it's clear tan points, not any muddling, not any mottling of the tan points, if they're nice and clear, almost certainly that dog has brindle. I've had people say that's not true, but I've never seen it. I have never seen a dog that had brindle that had clear tan points. I've never seen it. So I suspect it is true, but... Uh, what's this right here? Oh, someone... Ah, someone said I got the last DNA predictions exactly right for their litter, so they're asking me to do it again. So here we go. So we've got a dog that's uh, a little... Big D, little D, big E, little E. Okay. Um... So that should be what? Uh, well, it's bred to a dog that's big D, big D, so we're not getting any blues out of it. Um, it looks to me like both dogs are KY, so we're not gonna get any brindles out of it. Um, this other dog is ATAT. -AT. You didn't tell me about the tan points, the other one, and it's a copy of Merle. So, I mean, that is a that last dog is actually, it should be a black and tan Merle. Uh, if you breed these dogs together, what should you get? The answer is, is that you should get um, half merles, half not merles, and uh, you could get some black and tans. I think that's what you're gonna get here. I'm a little bit confused on what you're telling me here, but I think that's right. Anyway, there we go. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody. Encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here, and certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Risky now. Come on, man.